Are you level 60? Want to make some epic armor for you and your thralls and are coming across a one side technicality of oil? That's right, I got you today. There are a couple of different strats to get some oil to make the hardened leather that you so desire. So to make that epic armor, you're going to need a bunch of this stuff, um, unless you're using that and that. But for the greatest part, most mediums and stuff are going to take hardened leather, which requires five oil. To get that oil, you can either craft fish traps, which you're going to need to put bugs in, and you can use bees as well, and it's going to craft them slowly. And you come back in a while and um, get your fish out and they squish for different quantities of which like the exotic fish is one for one the middle fish is like three for one and the shittest fish is like ten for one it used to be the other way around because we actually in fact used to have oil farms like this all the time to burn the oil for fuel because it was the most efficient fuel now either coal or dry wood is probably the most efficient fuel but that was before they added in this new way of making hardened leather and the tanners table and stuff so luckily they did change that because we now need all of the oil all of the oil to make hardened and leather for armor so you can do that it's going to take quite some time as you can see that's like great oil and you can have a squisher nearby and put him in and get your oil that way you do want to have um the fish traps and your squishers all kind of in one spot so you're not getting inventory capped with fish they used to just generate by themselves without adding bugs and stuff so you could go around and everyone would just have them on a long new beach and just oil farm that way it was kind of cool but you could build a little hut like this have your your squishes on place and then just take the oil back because that will ultimately be cheaper and a lot less slots and you can put it like in your thrall or whatever but if you do happen to find someone's fish you want to focus on the exotic fish and as none of them give you ichor anymore you can also have them just decomposing and put them in a compost bin you can also split them up to make them compost a lot quicker and that's going to give you a bunch of rotten flesh but while it's also generating the rotten flesh it's going to start generating you some grubs in there the grubs and the regular bugs do end up expiring over time as well they have a decay timer but the bees they don't and you get a lot of bees from harvesting things like lotus you get them as a rarer drop from regular bushes but flowers and stuff generally drop a lot more bees and there's different rates at which the stuff's going to give you stuff so bees are going to give you more exotic grubs are going to give you more savory and the regular bugs are going to give you more unappetizing so it is beneficial to go for the bees and they don't expire so you can escape them about and also make honey at a quicker rate with them but the beehives do generate honey by themselves so you don't actually need to put bees in there now you got your putrid flesh from uh these guys you can pop them in the dismantle dismantle image in the squisher as well and it's going to give you a very low rate of ichor drop i think it's 100 for one as you can see we only got one out of that but hey it's something you can get that ichor then this is my favorite way of getting um i was about to say alchemy base then but not quite oil you can use a pick or a pickaxe on trees and get bark and resin you can also use it on the dead trees to get a lot of bark so i usually go and farm the dead trees around the pirate ship the dogs of the desert where am i around an unnamed city a few places like that the kari dungeon has a lot of dead trees as well get your bark and your ichor from either killing some spiders at places like over by a spine break of flank the silk woods over at these spider caves there's also a lot of komodo dragons that live like around on these islands that you can also kill for ichor which is quite nice a few other different things squish for ichor like volatile not volatile glands um queen reaper venom glands and stuff but it's not worth it and you can put that in there with an uh, alchemist three that you have acquired because you've seen my other guy no doubt from over at Flot Sam for 50 gold you can run your luck at getting a tier 2 to a named alchemist a tier 3 will do so you are quite likely to get one of those pretty easily without even having to tame and knock out a thrall at all pop them in just a regular alchemist bench it actually doesn't matter if you use the medium grade one or the better one it's going to be the same rate with oil conversion but you do need the thrall and you're going to craft 500 and it's going to give you five for one so that's going to be like what five thousand am i doing my math right i don't even think so but it's going to give 
is a butt ton of oil and by far one of the most efficient ways. But because you've probably been doing the Catan caravans and trading in your skulls and you probably bought some of the supply crates at some point because it is actually one of the best ways to get steel now so you, if you haven't been you probably should be. They also drop large amounts of random seeds from like leveling agent, highland berries, aloe seeds which is very handy. I've been growing my aloe on the PvP server from those 500 seeds that my crate gave me. But if you don't want the thousand highland berry seeds you can put them in your squisher as well or just regular seeds. I tend to save these for making gruel and as you can see it's about 15 to 1. So it's an okay source of oil early game especially if you only need a few for something but definitely the best way would be doing this. If you don't live near the spiders you can still do the fish trap stuff. Grow all your fish from your various different bugs you've been getting along the way. Squish your seeds at the same time. Keep everything in a fridge if you don't want to use it straight away as well because that'll keep the time of like your bugs and things. And then just do all of this all at once to get max amount of oil and that's probably the best type of oil farm you can do and on multiplayer servers it gives you another little base that you can have as a fallout base or something have a box with some random stuff in it another distraction for people to blow up instead of your main base generally don't keep crafted stuff here once it's done take out your loot and put it somewhere safe but if you're on a single player server you just come build down on the river like i have just to get the fish for rotting down for some extra ica and growing some grubs in the meantime now if you put grass in there i need to put a little bit of bone meal as long as it's generating compost it should be generating bugs and you can grow some stuff with your compost as well like maybe those aloe seeds so it's all quite a nice little loop of stuff you can do to farm things much more efficiently than you would just waiting around for these fish to craft because then all the other spare bark you can also use with a named alchemist to make spice in an alchemist bench one bark to a conversion of like five or ten spice and you can also use that in a tanner's bench to make much needed oil um oil Tar that one. Yeah, if you found this information helpful, please do smash that like and subscribe button and maybe even the bell notification so you can see when these come out straight away. That'd be cool. And um, yeah, I hope you've had a good as time as I have with you guys today and I'll see you next time. I hope you have an excellent day, evening, night, morning, whatever it may be, wherever you may be.